Peek a boo. Peek, 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 peek. Oh, it's dark. I could probably scare her if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? Her name is Hilda Lid, and Hilda Lid does not like the night. She does not like anything about the night, especially the dark. And she has a plan. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but she's gonna try to get rid of the night. The title is Hilda Lid's Night. This book was written by Chelly Duran Ryan, illustrated by Arnold Lobel. I'm gonna get rid of the cover because there's some slippery and it's in my way. And this book was published by Macmillan Press. All the pictures are in black and white and they're really quite beautiful. Let's find out. High in the hills near Hexham, there lived an old woman named Hilda Lynn. She hated uh, uh, bats and owls and moles and voles and moths and stars and shadows and sleep and even the moonlight all because she hated the night. If only, said Hilda Lid to her old wolfhound, I could chase the night from Hexham. The sun would always shine on my hut. I do not know why no one has thought of chasing away the night before. Hilda Lid cut a broom from twigs to sweep the night out of her hut and over the hills of Hexham. She swept and scrubbed and scoured and whisked, but whenever she looked out of her window, the night was still there like dust behind the rafters. Hilda Lynn pulled out her needles and sewed a sackcloth into a strong sack to see if she could fill it with the night and empty it beyond the hills of Hexham. She wadded and padded and pushed and stuffed, and she even sneaked up on the shadows, but she could not cram all the night into a sack. Hildelin dragged her heaviest cauldron to the fire so she could boil away the night. She ladled it, stirred it, simmered it, bubbled it, tasted it, and burned it but she could not boil away the night. Hilda Lid gathered vines to tie the night up into a neat bundle. Perhaps someone will buy it in the market, she thought, but she could not tie up the night. Hilda Lid sheared the night like a sheep, but all that dropped from the sky was a little cloud. She tossed the night to her old wolfhound stretched on the rushes, but he could not wolf down the night. She tucked the night into her straw bed, but it kept jumping out. She ducked the night in the well behind her hovel, but it bobbed up. She singed the night with a candle, but it skipped outside. Hilda Lid sang it lullabies, poured it a saucer of milk, shook her fist at it, smoked it in the chimney, stamped on it, spanked it, dug a grave for it. And she even, I'm sorry to say, spat at the night. But the knight took no notice. Then 
I shan't notice the night, sniffed old Hildelin, and she turned her back on it. At that moment, the sun climbed over the hills of Hexham, but Hildelid was too tired from fighting the night to enjoy the day. She settled down to sleep in her straw bed so she would be all fresh and ready to turn her back on the night when it returned to Hexham. Good night. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think Hilda Lid's plan worked out very good for her. Is she gonna sleep all day when it is light and stay up all night when it's dark, ignoring the night? That does not sound like a plan. Hilda Lid's night, what a silly woman she is. I miss you friends. Mwah.